And good morning people, welcome to a new Let's Play. Welcome to a blind playthrough of Persona. I am going to be playing the PSP version here yeah. and I will be honest I have no idea what I'm getting into here. I don't know the story, I don't know anything about it at all. I haven't even played any of the later ones so yeah. This is going to be uh, very interesting. I had a quick uh, check through the first opening sequence and stuff just to see if I really wanted to do it and I went yes. So here we go. New game. Before beginning the game please choose a difficulty setting. Normal is for people that have been into RPGs, I've done that, that's fine. Beginner, no. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing Expert. I've not played this game before and I'm going on Expert. I think that's a suitable challenge. Because I believe beginner and normal might be a bit too uh, simple. Not too sure why, but it's just a feeling I've got. So Expert it is. For advanced players used, used to strategizing in battle. The difficulty here, the battle difficulty is higher in this mode compared to normal. The difficulty cannot be changed once the game begins. Do you want expert? Yes, I do. Then sit back and enjoy your persona. Thank you very much, game. I will. Once I dreamt I was a butterfly. I forgot myself and knew only my happiness as a butterfly. Soon I woke, and I was myself again. Did I dream that I was a butterfly? Or do I now dream that I am a man? Yet there is a distinction between myself and the butterfly. This is the transformation of the physical. By Zhang Zai never heard that saying before but it's very deep at least to me it is it makes you think a little bit and we're in an empty classroom hat wearing student persona okay so we're already getting into the, na uh, the uh, name of the game if it really worked and I could see my future I'd be 
well yeah, you'd be able to see exactly where you're going and how to get there the best way. Hey, you ain't got the brain in what, man? Masayo Inaba. Nickname Mark. Okay. <laughs> so he's son of a dry cleaner. Earnest and excitable. Okay. Turns out there's more to it than an easy joke. Maybe not see in the future, but weird stuff does happen. Okay. Haitiko Usagi. Nickname Brown. I'm going to have loads of fun with these names, aren't I? <laughs> hmm. Craves attention and doesn't like thing. Uh, doesn't take things very serious. By the looks of his face, yeah, I believe that. Bet you an all-you-can-eat dinner at the Peace Plaza Diner on Joy Street. Sounds like a good bet, especially for kids. What a description! Air-headed student, and she's with Hidiko, and she's called Yuka AAC. Nickname AAC. I have no idea I'm getting that name right. I'm probably butchering it very bad. And she's a troublemaking student. Okay. Uh, that ponytail student's in with Brown. Uh, Eriko Kirishima. Nicknamed Ellie. Ladylike student. Beautiful and intelligent. Okay. And Mark's thinking, what the heck? <laughs> Kai and Yukino. Okay, who are these people? They have to do bunk, apparently. Kai Nanjo. Nicknamed Nanjo. An utter pragmatist and skeptic. Fair enough. And this is all you. Uh, Yukino Meizumi. Nicknamed Yakuni, uh, Yakino. She's like an older sister to all the students. Okay. Who am I with? Um, well, he's talking about Persona and that's the... Per um, point of the game, but so, uh, let's go with Brown. Let's get started apparently. Okay, started with what? The AC? Okay, here goes. Okay. Persona, Persona, please come here. She walks across the room for... Okay. Brown says the same thing and walks across the room again as well. Okay, Mark's in on that and then Ellie as well. In and nothing. Okay. And AAC is basically saying, "Why don't get him on this?" And Mark wins, apparently. Mm. <laughs> Mark screwed his up. Well, he was the one that didn't have the uh, seriousness when he said the words, I guess. Um, hello, who are you? Um, 
She's a bit of a ghost. Okay, strange things are happening, and there's that butterfly. Welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Philemon, a dweller between consciousness and unconsciousness. And now, a simple test. Can you state your name? Okay, what sort of test is that? Quite an important one, I guess, then. Alright, so I've got to put a last name and a first name. Well, I'm going to be putting in this, I think. Dragon for the last name. And for the first name. Poison. Poison Dragon is basically what oh, Poidrax stands for. So, might as well go with that, since I've got the option. I don't know the person's true name, otherwise I would put that in. So, let's just go with this. Is this right? Yeah, it's fine. Splendid. There aren't many who can remember their identity when in this domain. It seems you passed that test. But tell me this, are you aware of the many and buried selves you harbor within you? The self suffused with divine love. The self capable of demonic cruelty. People live by wearing different masks. Your current self may be only one of those innumerable masks. You, though, you have a very firm grip on your identity. I respect your strong will. In return, I grant this power. Persona. It is the power to summon the selves within you, the gods and the demons you harbor. The time is soon when you will need this power. Now, you must return to your proper time and place. Okay. Probably. And I'm now be call being called Poison. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's the infirmary. Okay. And we've got actual music on in the background. That's interesting. <laughs> Don't usually get that sort of thing. Unfortunately, this music will uh, loop around constantly. So, just have to deal with it. And apparently this uh, nurse wants to just watch the students as they sleep. She doesn't seem to be a very good cook. Okay, and another teacher, who's also worried. Home, uh, so, uh, psycho 
no, Seiko Takami, maybe. Homeroom teacher for boys and then the others, very popular with the students. Erico and AAC told McAge Cot Hospital and then head home. I can tell by looking at you that you're perfectly sane. Uh, have you had a history of uh, people going insane in this? Uh, school or something so I got to go see the doc wasn't there a oh so we've got to go and visit the studio Mackie there for over a year Ooh. she must be quite uh, ill then anyways First thing I want to do is change this upward movement to that one because, yeah, because it just uh, makes it a bit easier for me if I get uh, get it correct. I don't think it's saved. That's better. Okay. In the in the box was a medicine. Restores a little HP for one ally. And apparently everyone here is in my uh, team or thing. So we've got a full team from the get go. That's interesting. Skills don't have any yet. Equipment. They're all wearing school uniforms and leather shoes. Mark has a two-handed axe. And the other one has a crane razor. Yukino has a crane razor. So, yeah. Personas don't have any yet. Status. Uh, let's get the right button. Condition is normal, so no problems. Level 5 to start off with. Experience 100. Next level 90. Okay. And Persona is level 5 as well. So I'm guessing that's the standard start. Weapon, attack and hit is 14. Defense is 24 with 18 evade. Gun. I have no idea. Magic, attack and defense, 1. And the strength, uh, ST is strength, vitality, dexterity, agility and luck. No idea what each of them skills do completely at the moment. HP is health I'm guessing and SP is spell points or whatever spells are called in this game. Uh, Nanjo has a bit less attack power uh, than uh, the main character. But has a bit more defense and a bit less in agility and dexterity and luck. Not too bad. Mark has has a weapon equipped so his attack is a bit higher. He's a bit less on defense and uh, a bit higher hit because I think of that uh, that weapon as well. His dexterity is quite low, so hmm. And oops, Yukino. It's going to take a while to get used to the names. As even though she's got a weapon, it has a quite low attack power. It looks like hit is 24, and defense is a bit less because her vitality is quite low. Magic attack and defense is one again, the same as everything else. Battle system. There's a formation which uh, is actually uh, a, uh, pretty interesting. In. So one thing I am going to do because I do know what uh, what this uh, 
that Mark does is he hits everything in the front line pretty uh pretty uh thing so apparently I can't I can't put them completely next to each other but that's the formation I'm going to go for for the moment because his weapon does a bit more in the areas and yeah. uh, no I want to save that how do I do that confirm okay and I want to change this one uh, to uh, this because of back attacks that might come I had one in during my little test thing and run and uh, yeah it wasn't good because uh, the ones that do physical attacks couldn't do anything but confirm that and one other one last one I'm going to do is Well, on the last two. Oh, um, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do that one because I can't. Uh, it won't make any difference. Anyway, back to this one. Auto settings. You can set anyone to do auto things in battle and analyze. Apparently, it's for monster data, which I don't have any yet. Yet. I can load data from different saves, suspend the game, or go back to the title screen. I don't want any of that just yet. So that's the thing. Uh, pressing circle while you're walking around makes you run. And you have to be in front of someone to talk. She's put a new plant there. Limes up the room. Hmm. Plants grow better if you talk to them. Give it a try. This uh, plant in the corner, it has a special purpose actually. A gas jet tree. Your presence is welcome apparently. It's a safe point, which I was a bit surprised to uh, know about. So that's saved. And we can talk to people. Uh, apparently there's a sports festival in a month. Should we cancel it just uh, just cancel it this year? Uh, hopefully not. Sports festivals are usually a good thing for a school, so... Kind of a long walk from school. It's way to the northeast. You leave from the school, head north, go all the way to the third ward, and then take a right at the McCage ruin. If you wonder, uh, just wander around, we'll, we'll get there sooner or later. That's actually quite important as a uh, directional thing. And everyone else just has little things. Now, this is the normal screen for walking around. You have a top-down thing when you're in rooms. However, when you're in corridors, you have a a uh, first person view and you can walk and turn around and have a look around and go into rooms if they're unlocked as you can see there's plenty of uh, there's some people around there's but not everyone has uh, things to say or at least yet as far as I know That one says the uh, could the uh, girl have been an illusion. I'm guessing this is the room that they had the little visitation in. Through here is the fire escape, and apparently there's nothing on that square in front of me. Apparently they don't like this person.
Uh, so let's have a talk to him. And he looks very odd, actually. Okay. Known as Hamya among the students who despise his extreme strictness. Well, you need need one like that in in every school, I guess. But Darny looked odd. Uh, there's a few other students floating around that uh, have names, but I'm not exactly sure where they are. So. Yeah. Uh, you look new. Rumor loving girl. Hear any uh, of those rumored rumors about the SCBEC building? Heard moaning and seen red eyes peering through the windows. Leveled a haunted mansion to build it. Oh, nice. Uh, most rooms have two doors going into it and this one has another room I believe no that's Nanjo and he's uh, saying the uh, Sebek curse is total outfit and he thinks they're making biological weapons okay Anyway, I think I'm going to uh, cut to when I see another person that actually has a name. No, that's Nanjo. So, yeah. Oh, Ellie. Brown seems to have gone home already. And I don't think uh, AC could explain it coherently, do you? Mm. He decal took off. Okay. So that's where the two of them are. Ah, the principal. Principal Ushi. Uishi. Yep, more butchering. Principal of St. Hermelian High. She adores children and flowers. Nice. So, next person. Ah. Apparently, there's a bit of uh, infighting among the uh, girls about a certain guy. And apparently that uh, Mackie was uh, friends with someone. Okay. Anyone else? Kente Yoko uh, Yokuchi, nicknamed Toro. His love of food has made him physically strong but emotionally fragile. Fair enough. You're. Uh, uh, friends do have say something to say in each one, but uh, yeah. Oh, hello. Yuko, uh, Yuko Himi, Yuko Himo, Himino. Again, names. <laughs> she works, works part time to support her family. Good on her. But it's a bit of a pressure thing to be put out for a schoolgirl to do a part-time job as well. So yeah, yeah, sure, why not? We were heading that way anyway to see her. Might as well do the same thing. Gate to paradise.
Well, yeah, hmm. Reggie! Reggie Kido! And he looks... odd. Quiet loner who transferred to St. Hermillion in high six months ago. And he just walks out. He must be sort of important because he's got a bit of a uh, tune. Oh well. Ah, never seen. Don't want to go to cram school, just want to stay home and sleep. Um, you're at school, you're meant to be studying. But. Well, at least they're going together. It's good for the boy, I guess. No fun, no, no one else there. Student Council President. Leader of the St. Termillion uh, Student Council isn't wild about his job. I'm guessing he was elected there when he didn't want the job. Okay. Okay, hello. That, um... You look odd. Sutomo Kururi. Uh, Kururi? Yeah, Su uh, Sutomo Kururi. Seven Mysteries of St. Hermelian High. He's a thing of the occult, okay. And some more. Um, you're talking to a girl about another girl that's older than you and a nurse. Um, I think that ranks in the top five of uh, things not to say. Well, that looks like everyone that I can see at the moment, so let's go out. Must see, uh, you must seize the moment, like myself. Okay. And Mark's thinking, yeah. And there we go. Yamakoa, the Nanjo family butler. He's been taking care of Nanjo since his, the air, since the air was an infant. Apparently, Na <laughs> Nanjo recognises him, and the, this butler's a bit um, gushy, it seems. Your chums. <laughs> And, well, that's that, I guess. Anyways, I think that's the good for the first part. It's, I've got to cut out a few things between finding people. But hopefully we'll get into some something a bit more interesting. So, until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.